Let's jump now over to Tori Cooper, who is live from the evacuation center in Ridgecrest with details on how the residents are responding to the current conditions right now. Tori. Mike and Emma, I'm right outside of the Kerr-McGee Community Center where several aftershocks have been jolting the ground underneath me over the course of the night following that 7.1 magnitude earthquake that hit. Now, Mike and Emma, several community members from in and around Ridgecrest have been filing in the doors you see behind me, seeking shelter and safety. Many of them telling me they're on edge this morning and worried about what may come next. And their big brother Brian Cat has been up all night. I can't sleep. I'm wide awake. Ain't gonna happen. So uh, my family's in the Red Cross shelter right now. Cat says his hometown of Trona is just seven miles away from the epicenter of where the 7.1 magnitude earthquake took place shortly after eight last night when Kat and his family were just sitting down for dinner. My house started shaking pretty, pretty violently. Um, Immediately, I jumped up and started ordering everybody out of the house. Cat and hundreds of other community members from in and around Ridgecrest filing in the doors of the Kerr-McGee Community Center seeking shelter and safety. Grabbed onto each other uh, with the hopes that the pictures that were on the wall wouldn't fall and hit us and tried to ride it out. Um, we had a TV fall. Um, we heard glass breaking in the other room. Many evacuees feeling the jolt from being pushed out of their home. I don't know what to do because I have a, a lot of problems in this kind of conditions. I'm sorry. No, don't. The evacuation center providing a safe haven for pets and residents, but some still uneasy about the aftershocks the United States Geological Survey is forecasting. The only thing I'm really afraid of is something bigger happening. Back live now, we're learning new information from the Ridgecrest Police Department. They're telling us that four more structure fires took place overnight, bringing that total to eight structure fires total since that original 6.4 magnitude earthquake hit on the 4th of July. They're also telling us that Animal Control is out here doing their best to reunite families with their lost pets. They say engineers will be out here assessing structures now that they have daylight on their side. But right now, information is still very limited concerning the extent of injuries. All right, Tori, thank you for that. Uh, we know that the